are you serious? Yeah, I'm What the fuck? Tell us about it. Well, welcome back, everybody. Simple Son here. Um, the Grammys were last night, Sunday. Um, there was a lot of ups, a lot of downs. But what we're going to talk about is a uh, uh, world-renowned rapper, a.k.a. Killer Mike, um, was arrested last night on Mr. Meaner battery charges. He won three Grammys last night. Best album, best rap song, um, best performance. Um, I guess that was controversial in itself. Um, he's also known as a uh, big supporter of Bernie Sanders, and now, I guess not so much, I don't, so, so much as a, a supporter of Trump, but not so much of a supporter of Biden, right, and rightfully so, because uh, he was on Bill Maher not too long ago, uh, talking about, you know, people should be worried about more about policy, and not just, you know, team-based politics, Um and he had a few little things to say about Biden, and uh, we'll check out that audio. I'll come back and we'll talk about it then. What are your feelings on the election coming up? I mean, Biden and Trump, are you mm. as depressed about that as most people, my, as a choice? My, my feeling is pick your policy, not your person. Find out <laughs> this, is, this is not the Dallas Cowboys versus your favorite team. This is, this is the policies that will affect our generations for the next 20, 30, 40 years to come. So close your eyes, listen to the policies that are being pushed, and, and pay attention even to the people who don't have a chance of winning because they're going to say policies you may want to push. And I would say do that, but make it policy-based. Make so, it policy-based. so that means you're for... That means I'm, I'm for black people and happy black history. But you're not, you're not saying one candidate over the other? Hey, man, my nigga, you ain't going to get me in no trouble tonight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my, 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 no, no, my, that's your job with me, to my, get me in trouble. My grandfather gave me some stellar advice sometimes. He said, son, sometimes well, you just got to know to stay out of white folk business. And, well, <laughs> well, this, well, this, this time, I'm going to keep my mouth closed. I, I still like the policy that the old man had that I was supporting. I would encourage people to find who's supporting that policy. And, and see what but happens. you can't get yourself to say vote for Biden over Trump. You you want me to list it now? So now, now I'm, we I'm just saying that can, that can he get himself to apologize for the crime bill? Can he get can he get himself oh. to get his head out of his oh. ass and say black people you you are black regardless? I need you to tell me what I need to do. Can he pick a coalition of former people who are affected by drug laws, street gangs, recidivism, and crime and say I need you as a board to advise me how to fix federal prisons? If he can do that, absolutely I can. So my challenge is out. There. <laughs> So now you see that. Um, I don't really think the Biden administration and his regime cared to have that all pointed out. Uh, you know, about the crime bill, um, recidivism. Um, I mean, a lot of things I agree with, some I don't. I think there's a lot more, you know, maybe warmongering, corporatism, uh, corruption that, that, that goes along with that. I mean, I understand that that's based on what his, you know, his, his personal feelings are about Biden. But there's a lot more about the Democratic Party and some even in the Republican Party that uh, people should be worried about. Um, but how did we get to it? Uh, what what? This was after the – from TMZ, we have aftermath of everything, right? As the arrest was happening, it was kind of raining outside. Terrible video. Uh, it looked like an old UFO video, to be honest with you. Um, but we're going to take a look at that through TMZ in a minute. Um, but honestly – he didn't back up Trump 100%, but I'm pretty sure the Democratic Party and the establishment sees that he didn't come out full-throated, full-hearted, you know, Biden won, you know, all the way, F Trump, F this, F that about the Republican Party. So they they seen that, and um, they probably, I'm not saying they did, I'm, I'm, this is all conspiracy theory in my head. They, they either let it happen or made it happen. Um, so, if you don't stand with the regime, the regime is going to take you down. That's what it seems to me, you know, what really is happening. Uh, I, whether this is happening to the Killer Mike, but let's be honest, uh, Joe Biden's going after all his opponents. You know, if you're a Trump, Trump supporter, Trump fans, um, just political opponents, you know, across the board. So, 
Um, beware about speaking out against the regime because the regime will bring you down. Um, but again, we'll get into uh, the TMZ video. Um, we'll check it out. I know it's kind of hard to see, but uh, right there in the middle, and this this big, you know, big silhouette right here, that's supposed to be Killer Mike, and this is supposed to be the security guard right here. So, let's continue. <laughs> See, so there, there you have it. Um, Mr. Meaner batter. So I didn't see nobody knocked down. I didn't see any vi real violence. You know, two people just basically having a yelling match. Um, California is basically, you know, the Wild West at this point. There's so much crime going on. You can steal. You can walk out of the store. Just have guys to news him when he goes to Target. Um, you know, he, he, he had people approach him about the... Uh, why crime is just happening rampant in California, but yet you're going to waste resources on going after him. So, I mean, I guess two and two, you know, make four. So we're thinking, you know, not so long ago, he didn't back Biden publicly and pointed out all his flaws. And now you win three Grammys, like maybe, hey, look, we're giving you awards. Shut your mouth. Um, he didn't shut his mouth and um, they're coming for him. They're taking them away. Or maybe all of this might be just publicity stunts. You know, PR across the board. Uh, we don't know. But it, it, it just seems coincidental that he comes out not in favor of Joe Biden. And now he's under arrest and uh, facing charges. So I guess time to tell. We're going to have to wait to see what happens. Uh, maybe Mike and his people put out a, you know, uh, some statement. And we'll come back to it. But uh, until then, tell me what you think. Put a, put your thoughts down in the comments. Hit the subscribe, like, share. Hit the share button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.